What's up guys, Kiwi Bro here back at you with another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video and today we're going to be going through the rundown of the new zombies that has come to us with the release of Black Ops 4. Now this is by far the most interesting and out there part of the zombies series that has ever been made and Treyarch is by far the best at creating the most outrageous and enjoyable zombies content that there is seen as though that they are the ones that started zombies back in world world at war now first things that we're going to go over the maps there are three maps so far not in including downloadable content and these maps are ix or x depending on how you want to say it now this is set in a gladiator based arena which goes into some sort of catacombs and tombs underneath the arena this is the smallest map out of the lot but i find this one the most enjoyable um, it's got very small lanes and corners and zombies can pretty much pop out of anywhere over the walls underneath the map. It is absolutely amazing. The second map is called Voyage and this is set in the bloody scene of the Titanic. Now I don't know if this is the way that they wanted it. This is actually the Titanic. Um, but... And there is also, let's go over the last one, that's Blood of the Dead. I am yet to play Blood of the Dead, but I heard, heard it is absolutely amazing. Now, we're going to set the basis for zombies. It is basically four people. The characters are called Scarlet Rhodes, Diego Nicali, Bruno Delacra, and Shanton Shaw. Now, if I have pronounced these incorrectly then I do apologize. Obviously no one's going to take offense to it, but there are those some that do. Now, before I get into the rest of it, just please do make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. Now, the basis for the storyline is that these four people are time traveling back into different times with significant eras of history obviously the titanic is a big thing in human history then obviously the gladiator days the coliseum arena style fighting to the death and obviously blood of the dead which i am yet to play so i cannot give you too much information on that but i will be covering that in another video now there's a few new things to zombies and there's a few old things that are in zombies obviously it has always been the same. You can get weapons off the wall and there are mystery boxes placed without the map, throughout the map, which is just textbook Call of Duty zombies. Um, a new thing that has come to zombies is that there are fully customizable classes. Now you can go through... Now this doesn't really cover weapons. You can always cu customize weapons. So when you pick them up, they have skins or attachments, etc. as you unlock them throughout leveling up in the campaign. But these classes give you your perk sets, basically, um, and your special elixirs, as you can see on the right-hand side of the screen, from the directional pad options. They, they allow you to do different things, like set zombies on fire when they hit you or to travel to a different part of the map and so on and so forth um, but also they allow you to choose your special ability my chosen special ability is of course Thor's hammer now I don't know if this is the proper name for it but I'm going by it because when you hit it scores of lightning come out of the hammer and you're basically indestructible now I'm just gonna go into the best times to use these now, some would think that the best time is to use these is when you've got a horde of maybe 20 plus following you and you've been training them around the map. The best time to use these is when they, the special zombies come out, the gladiators, or the, um, I don't even know what to call it, like demon zombie, looks like an insect sort of shit. And now there also are, like Treyarch has always done, they've had dogs, or zombie dogs, now in this map, 
you have zombie tigers, which is just absolutely amazing. They look scary as fuck. They've got scary red eyes. Um, they are very easy to kill, and here's a demonstration of the hammer right here, and it is just absolutely amazing. Now, this can be activated by pressing L1 and R1 together when it is available, and it normally takes a round or two to charge up. You've got to kill so many zombies, and it only lasts for so long. It's about 30 seconds. I don't know yet if it's based on how much you use it, or if it's just a set time limit. But we'll soon to be soon to find out as we experiment more into the zombies. Um, just a little thing into my channel, guys. I am going to be doing predominantly Black Ops 4 gameplays and and zombies, um, mostly multiplayer and zombies. I won't be doing any um, Blackout as I don't really enjoy it. It's not something that I enjoy, but if you guys do want to see that sort of content, then please comment down below. And maybe you and me and whoever else out there in the Brotherhood wants to jam it out, play some squads with some duos, I'll be more than happy to do that. Now, let's get into playing single player. Now, you can play single player online and offline. Offline, you can have the choice to fill the rest of your squad with bots, so the rest of the characters can be... Um, spawned in as bots which is something that we have not seen yet in Call of Duty and I think is an absolutely amazing idea um, it just gives that better aspect to playing single player now a lot of a lot of games have stopped doing this um, I'd say purely for monetary gain um, but yes there is split screen available in Call of Duty Zombies. It is like the old days, you can go in, you can get your friend around, grab another controller, and play split screen. Um, and with the added bonus of if you're playing with two people, you can add another two bots. If you're playing with three, you can add three bots. Now, I'm not gonna be talking about multiplayer at all, but I do believe you can split screen in multiplayer as well. Now, now, for the rest of the video, I'm just going to kind of go over my personal opinion of zombies so far. So I've done about five or six games of zombies because I've been grinding the multiplayer out. But so far, I am absolutely in love with this zombies. Uh, Treyarch never fails in making a great zombies game. I don't think they've failed yet. And the most notable, obviously, is Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1. Those zombies are amazing, but this is, in comparison, by far the best one. The way that they've set out the story, the storyline for each of the characters, the customization throughout each character and throughout the game is absolutely astounding. Um, now, if you are mostly a multiplayer um, player and you don't really dive into playing much zombies then that's fine but i believe that for anyone who is new to zombies that this is a good place to start now they do also offer a beginner's level so you can go in and when you're selecting your map you can play it as a beginner style where the zombies aren't as hard or, or challenging and it makes things a lot easier, it allows you to learn the map, learn all the easter eggs if you're into doing that sort of thing, learn the placements of the gods, the gods are what give you your perks, and placement of weapons throughout the map and where the boxes are and that sort of stuff. So it does allow you to learn it. They also offer tutorials at the beginning. Um, to learn the game but anyway guys this is coming to the end of the video i hope you guys have enjoyed and please do subscribe and like i've been your kiwi bro and i am out peace